this is Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club, and today we're doing another Marvel vs. DC video for you guys. We're going to be opening up six Marvel blind boxes and six DC blind boxes. We also have a giant Superman Play-Doh egg surprise. Now we're going to start the video off by opening up some of the Marvel blind boxes first. And I actually want to start with the Labbit series first. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. We have two of the Labbits. We have the Series 1 and the Series 2 out here. And these are some blind boxes that we've actually done a lot of on the channel. And here's our first one. We have Ghost Rider, one of the neater ones from the series. There's a look at his fire going all around his head right there. We'll set him down now. Actually, let's kind of... We're going to alternate between the two. Let's open up a DC one next. This is going to be Scribble Knots Unmasked. This is series number four. So this is the brand new one that just released. Let's go ahead and get this one opened up. And it looks like we got, yet again, Batman Beyond. So what I'm going to do for you guys, we're going to grab another one of these and we're going to open a second one for you. Now just in case if you didn't watch last week's video, here he is one more time out of the package on his base. One of the really cool figures from this series. But let's go ahead and open up the next one. Hopefully we'll get a new one this time. We should anyways. <laughs> Looks like we got Catwoman this time. Oh wow, they made her look really cool. They actually gave her some like, <laughs> she almost looks like she's got some bee eyes right here. They're kind of just these yellow clear crystal bubbles on her eyes for her goggles. That's really cool. But I'll go ahead and get her on the base real quick and we'll check her out a little more. And here she is on the base. And, you know, Catwoman's actually one of my favorite DC characters. I wish we could do more Catwoman stuff on the channel, but, you know, some of her uh, toys are a little bit racy, like her figures and her statues and stuff. So it makes it kind of hard to do that stuff here on this channel. But let's go ahead and open up the next Labbit box. And for this one, we got... Okay, looks like we got The Thing. So here's The Thing from the Fantastic Four. They made him look pretty cool with his little cracks all over his body. It, it almost looks like he's kind of dirty the way that, the way that they kind of printed it all there. It looks kind of like dirt in between the cracks. There he is. It's a really good shot of him side by side right there with this photo. We'll set him down and let's go ahead and open up this is probably one of my favorite DC blind boxes for what we've opened on the channel so far. You, these are some of the different figures that you can collect, like our Flash right here. I really like these figures. They're just like really blocky and kind of cute looking. And for this one, we got the Joker. So here's our Joker. And he definitely, he looks, uh, he looks pretty old right there. He's all wrinkly. That's kind of a funny look at Joker. Here's a look at the back. And you can move their arms and their head, you can kind of move it. It, it, does it. it was a little stiff, but it does move. So there's our purple suited Joker. We'll set him right back in the back. And now let's go ahead and open up. This is going to be the Marvel Vinylmation series number one. This is actually going to be one of my favorite Marvel blind boxes that we've opened on the channel. And we've gotten a lot of the figures from this series, but we're still missing a couple. And for this one, we got Captain America. So here's Captain America with his shield that's almost about to fall out of my hand. We'll just snap that right there. It, it actually, it, he doesn't hold it. It just kind of snaps onto his arm like that. Or I guess you could snap it onto his hand like that. So it actually does look kind of like he's holding it. That's a really cool figure. We'll set him down and let's go ahead and open up. This is the DC Universe Mini Mezits. So these, this is also going to be one of the newer blind boxes that we've done on the channel. We've gotten a few of the figures out of here so far. Showed you guys the, the two Batmobiles a couple weeks ago. And this one, yeah, I always forget which ones have the tear strips and which ones don't. This one actually doesn't have one. Good thing I keep the scissors like right behind me when I'm doing these videos. So. Here's our Superman, and he's actually he's sitting on top of our Superman egg back here. Now, we're probably not going to open any more of duplicates for these because there's only so many figures that you can collect, and we've gotten a lot of them, so we're just going to keep going for that one. Let's go ahead and open up the Scribble Knots Unmasked series number four. Let's get this one opened up, and then I'm going to clear off the table a little bit here. So it looks like we got... Let's see, he's, he's, uh, he's got a mist in his arm there. I'm not sure what this figure is. I think he looks kind of like Constantine, however you say that name. 
I think that might be what he's supposed to be. Where's his arm? Is it <laughs> supposed to fell on the floor? Oh, there it is. It's still in the package. All right, so I'll get him put together and then we'll check him out. So here's our guy on his base, and you know, he doesn't even really look like a superhero. He looks like he's going to some sort of business meeting. <laughs> he definitely doesn't look like he's there to fight Krob, but he's, uh, he's one of the more unique figures from that series, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and open up. This is going to be the Marvel Ultimate Spider-Man action figures, and these are like really hard to find. I found this on eBay, and they're really, I haven't seen them since, so... You know, if, if you're actually wanting these, all I can say is good luck because these are not easy to locate. And it looks like we got a Spider-Man and there's this little web with the magnet right there. So I'll get them all taken out of the package, get this wrapper off of them so we can check them out a little bit better. So here's our Spider-Man holding his web and just to give you guys kind of a little example, here's some metal pliers. We're just going to stick the magnet right there and as you can see, <laughs> The web held on just fine, but Spider-Man kind of lost his web, but there's that. That was kind of funny, actually. Let's go ahead and open up the next blood box. This is going to be the Domo Mystery Minis. This is something that gets requested sometimes on the channel, but you know, I'm not a big fan of these. I, I don't know. Some of you guys can comment and let me know what do you think of this series, because to me, these things look just kind of, I don't know. They look a little goofy with the, with the big toothy grids. There we go, finally got the plastic off of there. I do like the figures that are in this series. I mean, the Flash is in here, they got Robin, they got Batman, they got all the good ones in here. But again, these I'm just not so sure about. Looks like, we, I'm thinking that's gonna be a Batman. <laughs> Let's see what we got. And it is, so it's gonna be a gray Batman. Yeah, it is a nice looking figure. I just, uh, I'm not a big fan of their face. Their face just looks, uh, I don't know, it's a little creepy to me. <laughs> I'm kind of interested to hear what you guys have to say about that, if some of you guys like those or don't like those. But this is going to be Scribblenauts Unmasked Series number three. This is the final DC blind box that we're going to open. Then we have two more marbles sitting over there. And it looks like we got Sinestro. This is, I think this is the first Sinestro that we've gotten, but I'll go ahead and get him taken out of the package so we can check him out. And here he is, ready to fight the Green Lantern. And speaking of the Green Lantern, I actually, I've been playing the uh, Lego Batman 3 game lately with my son, and we've been having a pretty good time on there. And the Green Lantern's in there, and I'm, I think Sinestro's in there. I think he was in one of the cutscenes, but... We're, uh, we're about four hours into that game, but that game is a lot of fun, especially if you want to play it with someone else. Oh, finally, we got Spider-Man. So here's the Spider-Man from the actual Spider-Man series. There's a look at the bottom. And we did get the Spider-Man from the other, let's see, from series one. We got the white Spider-Man, I want to say, like two weeks ago. But I think this is the first one that we've gotten from series number two. Now, you guys can tell me if I'm wrong. My memory's not the best. But I'm thinking that's the first spider bed that we've gotten. We'll set him down. And then for our final blind box of the video, we have the Marvel Mystery Minis. We've gotten pretty much most of the figures except for the super rares. And I think, and I might have said this last time, but I think this is the last one that I have. I was digging through my blind boxes at my shelf, and I found this one sitting back there. So I'm thinking this is the last one that's ever going to be on the channel. And for our final one, it looks like we got a sealed black bag. Let's see, there we go. We got the Green Goblin, so that worked out well. We got a Spider-Man and then Green Goblin right after it. So here's our Green Goblin with his head on backwards or sideways. <laughs> Let's see, you know, the, the, that's the one thing about the Funko Pop stuff is the quality of some of these isn't the best and you might be able to bend this back around. I don't know, but for right now, He's just going to have to face that way. So we're going to set him down. And next, I'm going to open up our two fabrications for you guys so we can check both of these out. We have Rocket Raccoon and Harley Quinn. So let's go ahead and get these out of the package so we can see what they look like. So here's our Rocket Raccoon, and I would not feed him after midnight because he looks like a gremlin to me. I don't know. What do you guys think? He, de he definitely looks a little bit like a gremlin. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but some of you guys probably don't, don't even know what the gremlin looks like. But uh, to me, he looks kind of like Gizmo. But uh, he, he is one of my favorite Marvel characters. I definitely I really enjoyed the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movie last year. Next up, we have Harley Quinn. Now, you can move their heads. That's about the only thing that you can really move. I mean, you can move their arms, but 
the head actually does twist the arms just kind of uh, you know they're, they're sewn on so that you can move them a little bit and the body's actually made of like beans kind of like a beanie baby it's like a little beanie baby sort of but there's our uh, Harley Quinn who looks like she's up to something and she comes with this little wooden mallet as well which kind of feels like it's made out of plastic but it's it's a really cool figure I really like both of these so we're gonna set that down now let's go ahead and part the way here and we're gonna open up our giant Superman egg let me take our Superman off of here and let's take his logo off look how cool that logo is my wife actually did that one as well so we'll set that down and inside our egg if I can get all this blue play-doh off we have <laughs> the eggs trying to get away from me we have all sorts of surprise packs now let's open up a new one first this is going to be the justice league superman is on the cover so he's one of the figures that you can get here's a look at the back these are all the figures the flash is in here as well and for our first one oh wow there's actually three characters in here so we got wonder woman we got was that hawkeye who is that? Green Arrow. Okay, <laughs> I always get those two mixed up. I think that's Green Arrow. He, he looks kind of teal though. He doesn't even look really green. And then for the final one, we got Robin. So there's Robin, and here's a look at all three together. I can't believe I called him Hawkeye. I'm, there's so many people that are going to be like, that's not Hawkeye. But <laughs> I think it is Green Arrow. So there's our first surprise Justice League pack. Next up in our bag of goodies, we have the Marvel Grab Zags. So we have yet to get one of the actual figures. We, we keep getting the pins. So like, I've opened probably five of these. Finally, we got a figure. Like I'm really excited that we finally got a figure and it's a Spider-Man, which I think he's actually harder to get than some of the other figures. At least that's what somebody told me at the Cobbits, but I'll go ahead and get them taken out on the base and we'll see our very first ever Marvel Zag figure. So here he is on the base and it's got this little piece that hooks into the back of him to kind of make him jump off the base. That is awesome. That was definitely worth the wait of opening so many of those before we finally got that one. And I'm kind of curious, uh, what do you guys think about the, uh, the little battle here between Marvel and DC? Do you think the DC figures are better than the Marvel ones or do you guys like the Marvel ones better than the DC ones? We definitely have more expensive Marvel blonde boxes for today's video and here's our three we got Superman which came out of our Superman egg So that worked out well. We have Supergirl and then we have Batman. Batman looks a little strange. He doesn't look too happy <laughs> He looks like he's in a bad mood. We'll set them down and for our next one We have another Marvel grab zags. They also make the Avengers grab zags and we did do a few of those on the channel and We mostly just got uh, the skateboards from those and for this one, it looks like we got a little Wolverine flashlight. So here's our little flashlight. We have gotten one of those in the past, and you can also hook this onto something so you can put it on your you know, pocket or something like that. But we're gonna set that down. We're gonna keep going. We have one more Justice League, and then the next surprise pack, I guarantee you guys are gonna like it. So for this one, it looks like we got Green Lantern. We got the Green Arrow again. So there's our two green ones side by side. Now the green arrow actually does, again, he looks teal because if you look at the green lantern right here, the green lantern's actually got a really, really good green color to him. And there's our last one. That one might be, oh man, I can't think of his name. You guys are gonna have to, I can't remember what his name is. And for that one, I had to cheat a little bit. I had to look at the package here. It's, uh, this is actually Hawkman. He's not one of my favorite superheroes. So uh, that, that one kind of, uh, I wanted to call him Hawkeye, but I knew it wasn't Hawkeye, it's Hawkman. So there we go, there's that one. We'll set him down. And then this one, this one is the very awesome keychains that I showed you guys. I wanna say maybe last week, I think it was. I wanna show the first one of these. These are also new and we got the joker which this actually looks a lot like the egg that we did last week it's got that same little face to him it's a shame we didn't get him out of that egg but there he is that's a really cool keychain that's awesome let's set that down we have one more surprise pack and this is going to be the final one for the video this is the marvel grab zag once again and for this one we got another figure look at that so it looks like we got cyclops 
Let's go ahead and get him out. This is going to be the X-Men character. And for this one, here he is on his base. There he's shooting out the lasers from his eyes. It's got the little X buckle right there. That's really cool. I'm, I'm so happy we finally got, we got two out of three of the characters. So that's pretty cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed our video for today. Be sure to comment below. Let us know who do you think won our Marvel versus DC battle. This is Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club. And as always, thanks for stopping by.